I'm going to show you guys how my car starts. Dead cold, sitting overnight. It's got E85 in it and it's got thick 2150cc injectors with a Busher double pumper. So normally it would it would take a bit to start up. All right, I'm gonna video my feet so you can see I'm only hitting the clutch. Didn't hit the gas at all. Look at the air to fuels. Car's completely cold. Here's proof. does not have a high rev idle when it's cold it's programmed in the idle air controller stepping motor systems to maintain a thousand rpm idle at all times you can see it's very very calm idle it's not hunting or anything it's very solid settings on the ROM are all good, which is your dead time. 
which is which means uh, how how quick they respond to open and close. Your injector pulse widths need to be properly set, which is the length that the injectors stay open when they open, which plays a very big role on the fuel control in general of your vehicle for electric, electronic fuel injected cars. As you can see, the, the car is just it's very controlled at idle and even when I rev and uh, it cruises at 15.5 AFRs which uh, helps maintain miles per gallon pretty well. The car gets about 400 miles to a tank on E85 and E85 even uses 30% more fuel than regular gasoline such as 93 octane. So this car gets very very good gas mileage my only complaint with this vehicle is after you boost it about 150 pools or so wide open throttle, it will eat about a quarter to almost a half quart of oil. So you have to maintain the engine oil level or you can run into problems. That's the only thing that you have to watch out on a built engine because they're not sealed as tight tolerances as the factory engines are. So you really have to maintain them and I recommend checking your oil level uh, every time you get gas to fill the car up. Alright, I'm going to turn the car off. Turbo timer. You can see here's the Hammond manual boost controller.